Hi friends, you are on the channel Cross Pacific Confrontation. Don't forget to subscribe, put likes and comments. Enjoy watching. Today, we'll talk about how Western sanctions against China are only incentivizing the country's further development. The ban on chip supplies has prompted scientists to create technologies that are many times ahead of Western chips. Scientists have heralded a groundbreaking technology that has the potential to surpass U.S. sanctions and position China as a frontrunner in the semiconductor chip industry. Presently, significant strides are being made in the construction of an expansive particle accelerator, a critical component in enabling researchers to implement this cutting-edge technology. China is exploring innovative approaches to circumvent restrictions on lithography machines, which play a pivotal role in microchip production. By harnessing the power of particle accelerators to generate a revolutionary laser source, researchers are laying the cornerstone for the future of semiconductor manufacturing. Concrete plans are currently underway for the construction of a particle accelerator with a circumference ranging from 100 to 150 meters, roughly equivalent to the dimensions of two basketball courts. This accelerator promises to convert an electron beam into a high-caliber light source, specifically tailored for on-site chip production and scientific exploration. The team representing Tsinghua University is deeply engaged in active dialogues with authorities in the Xinhua New Area to identify an ideal site for the implementation of this visionary project. In stark contrast to commercial entities like Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography (ASML), which advocate for downsizing chip manufacturing equipment for export purposes, the Chinese initiative aspires to foster localized manufacturing by establishing an extensive factory that accommodates multiple lithography machines centered around a single accelerator. This innovation holds the potential to catalyze high-volume, cost-effective chip production, potentially propelling China into a prominent role in the industrial production of advanced chips, including the highly sought-after tunum, nanometer, chips, and even beyond. Lithography systems stand as some of the most intricately engineered machinery ever devised by humans. Presently, the prevalent technology in chip production, especially for chips with nodes as small as 7 minimum and below, is extreme ultraviolet, EUV, with an ultra-short wavelength. ADIS ML stands as the sole possessor of this technology, consequently asserting its dominance in the market. As of the conclusion of 2022, ASML had successfully delivered 180 EUV systems, with plans in place to ship an additional 60 EUV systems during the current year, as reported in an April Bloomberg article. Despite numerous researchers diligently pursuing this technology, Chinese scientists have embarked on a distinctive course. Their project, initiated in 2017, recently gained substantial public attention due to Huawei's significant breakthroughs in chip manufacturing. Professor Tang Chuangsheng, the head of the project from Tsinghua University, highlighted, One potential application of our research is serving as a light source for forthcoming EVV lithography machines. I believe this is why the global community is closely monitoring our progress. This statement was featured in a report published on the university's official website. Due to the heightened scrutiny and interest surrounding the project, Professor Tang's team has made the decision to suspend interviews, as it has begun to impede their regular scientific research activities. The foundation of the research conducted by the team hinges on a novel luminescent phenomenon known as steady-state microbunching SSMB. This pioneering concept was initially proposed by Professor Zhao Wu, alongside his student Daniel Ratner, at Stanford University in 2010. In essence, the SMB theory harnesses the energy emitted by charged particles during their acceleration to serve as a consistent light source. The outcome is a narrow spectral bandwidth, minimal scattering, and a continuous stream of pure extreme ultraviolet EUV light. Charged particles inherently emit light as they undergo acceleration, and devices that exploit this phenomenon rank among the most luminous artificial light sources available. Professor Zhao further elucidated, the primary challenge lies in effectively managing the distribution of electrons within the storage ring of the accelerator, enabling them to synchronize and collectively emit radiation. This apparatus has the potential to yield high-quality emissions spanning from terahertz waves with a wavelength of 0.3 mm to EUV waves with wavelengths measuring 13.5 nm. He detailed this in an academic report presented at Tsinghua University in October 2022. In contrast to free electron lasers, which generate pulsed lasers characterized by high peak power, SM sources offer a distinct advantage by producing a continuous stream of light with a substantial average power. This distinguishing attribute has broadened the horizons for potential applications of SSMB technology. In contrast to the current ASNL EUV technology, SSMB stands as an even more ideal light source, offering a superior combination of higher average power and increased chip production output while maintaining a lower unit cost.
ASML's EUV source creation process involves the use of laser-produced plasma, where powerful laser pulses are directed at tiny liquid tin droplets. This interaction results in the generation of EUV pulse light upon impact. Subsequently, through intricate filtering and precise focusing, an EUV light source with an approximate power output of 250 dO is produced. However, before reaching the semiconductor chip, the EUV beam undergoes reflection from 11 mirrors, each contributing to around a 30% energy loss. Consequently, the power of the beam diminishes to less than 5 GeU by the time it reaches the wafer. This could potentially pose challenges as chip manufacturing progresses towards the 3M or 2M scale. In contrast, SSMB technology effectively mitigates these concerns. SMB beams attain a significantly higher output power, reaching up to 1000 W, and the narrow bandwidth inherent to SSMB technology necessitates the use of fewer reflecting mirrors, resulting in a naturally elevated terminal power. Professor Zhao first proposed this groundbreaking theory in 2010. Subsequently, in 2017, Professor Tang assembled a dedicated team at Tsinghui University to embark on this pioneering journey. The team conducted the initial verification phase at the Metrological Light Source, MLS, in Berlin, Germany. By 2019, their experiments achieved success, and they subsequently published their findings in a paper that illustrated the phenomenon in a peer-reviewed journal, Nature, in 2021. In 2022, the research team at Tsinghui University embarked on the design of another prototype, further advancing their work in this field. During an academic workshop held in January 2022, Professor Pan Zhilong, a member of the team, announced, We have successfully designed an SSMB EUV light source at Thieu, boasting a projected EUV power output exceeding 1 kilowatt, with several crucial technologies nearing completion. In February of the same year, the Hebei Provincial Science and Technology Department convened a specialized meeting in Xiangen, focused on strategies for nurturing technology companies in the burgeoning district. Professor Pan accurately participated in this event, underscoring the team's dedicated efforts to facilitate the practical implementation of SSMB technology. At the meeting, Professor Pan presented the blueprint for Tsinghua's SSMB EUV project, and the team conducted site visits in Xiangen to identify an optimal location for future construction. The realization of a chip manufacturing facility is contingent upon securing adequate funding and addressing various engineering intricacies. However, the potential for fresh ideas to introduce innovative technical pathways remains a critical aspect of this endeavor. With no specific project details disclosed to the public, Professor Tang anticipates continued dedication from the team and the broader industry to propel the growth and development of SSMB technology. As an entirely novel light source, we have successfully conducted experimental verification of the technology. However, the imperative lies in constructing a robust SSMB light source research device that operates within the EUE spectrum, articulated Tang in the Nature paper. He further elaborated, stating, Once this device is established, we can cultivate a community of scientific and industrial users and refine the SMB technology. Tang held the conviction that this technology could potentially shield China from future sanctions, although he refrained from divulging specific progress regarding an SSMB-based lithography machine. He remarked, the road to independent development of EUV lithography machines is lengthy, but SME-based EUV light sources provide us with a viable alternative to sanctioned technology as conveyed in the Tsinghua report. He underscored, sustained technological innovation anchored in SSMB EUV light sources coupled with collaborative efforts with upstream and downstream industries is essential for constructing a functional lithography system. Furthermore, Tang highlighted in the paper that the realization of SSMB EUV light sources would introduce novel tools for cutting-edge research in fields such as material science, fundamental physics, biochemistry, and various other disciplines. That's all for today, and now I'd like to hear your opinion. What do you think? If the West had not imposed sanctions on China, would there be such a strong push in the country to create completely new technologies? Don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be more to come.